American attitude. Yeah. Okay. You need to, you have to change the identity by bringing in people who are born under different archangel countries, country, every archangels govern these zones. Our country is fucking awesome. And everybody wants to be that. And I am very sick and tired. When I see these musicians who think Thanksgiving sucks. Oh, that is so, okay. I know. Dude. If I you know. don't like Thanksgiving. I think you should literally eat shit. <laughs> and if you don't like civilization. Now, look, I understand colonization is fucked up. Okay. Yes, bad things happen to the red man. And I wish it wasn't that way. Yeah, The red man was already killing himself and enslaving himself, by the way, before the whitey got here. Everybody. Everybody. It, 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 that's Enslavement. So you pick the one person, the one person, the one, the one race that was like, hold on, everyone can be fair. No, you pick them and attack them, right? But no other slave drivers are there to be attacked. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I think the red, white, and blue which I wish still existed. That's why we had to take down that, Charlie. Thank God I fixed this fucking thing, dude. I went back back to the stream yard, by the way. Just FYI, technical yeah. comment. I, I went. I was on YouTube. And that yeah, was, yeah, dude, yeah. That, you had the actual YouTube thing open. I should have dude, realized that that's what you had. I should dude, have. That, dude, that was <laughs> dropping my IQ, but like 40 <laughs> no, that, that, points, that was bro. that was my fault for not noticing that. But wait, you didn't you didn't do? I I wonder if I should be egging this on. But you didn't do the racist joke yet. Are you building up? Here to it is. It, or are you gonna? The crayon is racist. What's the vibe? Here's what it is. He's holding up a crayon. If anyone's on, which the is the least useful crayon in the whole box? Uh, well, the white one. Yes, usually it's, it does nothing. It does nothing. <laughs> so that's my racist joke. Oh, okay. So it's anti-white racist. All right. Okay. All right. Is 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 now how we make it on the stage nowadays, Charlie? Uh, I'm yeah. Just trying to, as far as I can tell, that's it. Uh, yeah. You don't hate white people. Here's another thing, because I hate fucking Freemasons, which, by the way, I totally am. Not, <laughs> not in this life, though. Um, dude, I'm so fr Freemason. It's like unpleasant how Freemason I, I am. Like, I'll, I'll do these like random stoner videos and they have Freemason occult sinology in them. That On I have purpose that... or it just comes no, out? No, bro, that's what I'm telling you. Yeah. It's, it, it's, like that, it's like nine months later, I'm like, oh, I had the fake teeth fall out. That's like the Matthew Barney video with the teeth yeah, and the yes. fucking and the movie Tenant where they pull out the guy's teeth and the, and the, uh, um, and the Gary Oldman movie, Nil by Mouth, it's all this Freemason, the mouth of ruin, because they're smart enough to know that a human being, we kind of do a little bit too much with our mouth, if you know what I mean. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> it's like very versatile. It's like, I'm like licking some tasty badge. I'm smoking a cigarette. I was like, I'm drunk and I'm eating some mashed potatoes. And you just, if you focus just on that mouth, then you're like, oh my God, I, I'm a human being and I'm living here in sin in, uh, on, on, in the dregs of this. Uh, you have to understand something, Charlie. We're at the bottom of heaven. You understand? You know, heaven. I like yeah. that. I like that turn of phrase, man. I want to hear the more fuck about the bottom, that. bro. So, so, so Freemasons who I'm generally fighting, and they hate the fuck out of me, but there's obviously totally cool ones. Is that because you're yeah. like a defector, kind of? You're, you're like, you oh, are... Oh, yeah, exactly. I'm the, they're, yeah. They're, they've been waiting for me. And this is... We're leading for to this, to, with, to the end thing, with the image that you have of the man. I send you a black and white image. Oh, oh, yes, of Joseph okay. Jagger, right? Yeah, right. yeah. Right. So, so here's Freemason comedy. Freemason comedy is the funniest fucking thing. Look at this. What is that? Dopey? Is that the do is that the do and and uh, the dopey dwarf the from seven? seven, yeah, seven yeah, look, but, 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 yeah, look, yeah, it's two dwarfs on top of each other. But, oh but, shit! You've got a dwarf and, coming out of its stomach, looking like like uh, fucking Quato oh, yeah. from uh, from Total Recall, right? Is that what we're looking at here? It's two dwarfs on top of each other. But any sexual man knows that this is the funniest thing they've ever seen. Okay, <laughs> Do you have this other personality at your midsection. Who's not, who's, and you're on, here's the thing. 
the other guy is on top. <laughs> okay, so that's Freemason comedy. Right. It's it's like the guy is a, a f- totally retarded, but then he's got like an even more retarded like dwarf right. self coming out of which his, is out which of his is your exactly. genitals. Yeah, yeah making yeah. decisions for. I don't think I need to explain it. Yes, yes, yes. All okay. I can tell you is if you don't think that's funny, <laughs> then I don't like you. Okay. Yes. A, and, and you don't have to think it's funny. And here's another one on the other side, which is this hot redhead. Yeah, driving and a the green wind- car. Driving a car with a ravenous vag clam in the front. Yeah. Okay, this is a this That's is a another. Look, 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 look. When you see it opens and closes. Yeah, and yeah. See how yeah. she's driving her vagina to eat. Okay, so yeah, that's primal oh, fear oh, the right dog, there. Yeah, 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 the dogs like that. Um, that is some comedy, and um, I, I just I think it's pretty good. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Are those figurines that you uh, that you noticed were Freemason comedy, or w- or were they like given to you with the deliberate idea that it was? That's on a strictly need to know basis. Oh, okay, fair. but I can <laughs> right. tell you one thing. I don't need I'm, to know. I'm not to. involved in the craft at all. Okay. However, to make it to 33, you got to kill an infant. When I was about 17, I. killed someone really yes uh, the unborn oh okay yes yes and i regret the fuck out of it and you people who are calling this shit reproductive rights okay on your deathbed you're gonna feel different now i am not saying that the state or any political entity should have control of a woman's uterus or her i am not saying that in fact There's no way I could possibly. What I'm saying is I didn't know why. Why are they why are they pushing reproductive rights? Yeah. Yeah. And how stupid people are. Do you notice that they all want you to die, but now you believe that they want to help? Okay. Dude, your your um your view on abortion is pretty much exactly what mine is. It should and be legal. You said that. It should be legal, but it's fucked up and it's super fucked up that people are pushing it. That's my thing. Legally, pro choice, socially, super fucking conservative about it. That's my that's my trip. You know. In Hungary, you have to listen to the child's heartbeat. Yeah. I, I heard they do that think... too. I think they have that here Where? too. In I certain... hope they do, man. I... I'm not saying the woman should have no choice. Yeah. Here's the thing. You, there's things you, they don't tell you. For example, infant meat. How's that sound? It yeah, sounds... you've eaten. You've eaten it. You have eaten it. Okay, I'm not kidding. Unfortunately, probably, yeah. Uh, well, I assume that was bullshit because I really wanted it to be, and also I didn't trust my contacts. Well, guess what? The contacts I have, I trust. All right. I don't think they would lie to me. Plus. They also supply fucking just data and, and visuals. Uh, I mean, irrefutably. Okay. That and using abortion as birth control, I don't approve of it. And whether it's legal or not, I want people, uh, whatever. I, I've established that. You and I connect on that. Yeah, well, I mean, it's, it, was, it's, it was founded as part of the eugenics movement. So it's like, you know, I mean... It's like, yeah, you should keep it legal so women have control of their bodies. But it's, I mean, the the original thrust of it. That's the wedge in. It's never about women's rights. It's about the infant's non-right. A human being that's trying to exist doesn't have, it's supposed to be me. These women in Australia, oh my God. And all the women in the West. That's a certain way to ruin everything. (laughs) <laughs> it seems like about 50% of the women in the West um, have had their minds destroyed. Women, please prove me wrong. I'm not a misogynist in the least. I'm behind you 100%. The reason I'm against feminism is because I um, deeply care about women uh, and they should be defended. And um, feminism. Oh, you're breaking destroy- up a little bit now. It's about a destroying bit. the family. 
So um, here, here's the point. We are dropping. Oh, I can't. I can't. Uh, yeah, I, we're just dropping listeners. Like, like flies. <laughs> oh, um, man. I, I, you know, it's a very, um, it, you know. I, I heard your comment about that. And that shoo shoo track. I love abortion. Yeah. Okay. I, I love you. Shushu. I love Jamie to death. Okay. That particular okay. track, I don't. I can't okay. stand by that. I can't they're gonna, that. They're going to have to answer to that. And I'm not trying to. It's not my place to indict them. They're going to have to. I've made stupid. Of course, I've said stupid things. Think about what I said. And these are words of power. You, you don't love abortion. So don't say that. Yeah, and it's just it's the same way as with all these fake metal bands. Um, uh, yeah, you want Satan? You know what Satan's like, dude? Uh, <laughs> do you want me to fuck you in the ass while I put a boot on the back of your neck? I, no, you don't. I don't think you want yeah. that. No, no, no. I know. I know. Unless it's... you want to join join the Ukrainian army. <laughs> Yeah, well, both, I mean, both Ukraine and Russia, that's just like fash on fash fucking violence as far as Not I'm quite. concerned. I have better intelligence than you. Okay. What's the, you, you have some, do you want to spill so, it? So, 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 no, I have nothing to sell. So, uh, no, I Biden, said spill it, but yeah. Oh, oh, thank you. Yeah. Excuse me. Um, Biden sent uh, $14 billion. Zelensky is a, uh, is a, like a gay disco guy. We have the footage, uh-huh. uh, by the way. Yeah, it's not terrible. And he, he does awesome. <laughs> Maybe he's cooler than me. He, he does the equivalent of what we're doing, but he has a pile of blow. Um, really? Is that? <laughs> oh fuck yeah! Um, I don't even do that anymore, man. It's you know, it's in the past for me. So Zelensky parties in that way. Nazi. Uh, you, you, uh, you were breaking up. He's a homosexual Nazi, you said? Nazi. It's, it's Nazism. And I hate using the word Nazi. So Russia's just... Um, oh, man. I don't know why you're breaking up now, dude. I don't know what the <laughs> thing is. I know why I am. But they're intervening in a humanitarian effort. Yeah. I'm not trying to defend Russia. Um, you know, I have Eastern European stock. But that's the fact of what's occurring. And I'm seeing... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and name names here. Yeah. Les Claypool, and I'm seeing Ozzy Osbourne, and I'm seeing it is making me fucking sick to see that these, uh, the, this, this satanic Kazarian Nazi shit going on in Ukraine, and they're bombing their own people. And, and okay, most of the war footage, there's literally just like a tank, it's not moving, and then guy with a, with a uh, uh, video camera and there's somebody making smoke. There's kind of no war and what we're supporting from the US side and all these people support Ukraine. It's fucking That's stupid. <laughs> support the Ukrainian people would be to stop supporting our independence in that country. Yeah, well, I just don't want a nuclear war. That's all. I mean, people need to. You, you know, you know, your shit is cutting in and out now. I don't know what happened. Like the past minute or two. Like I don't know. Well, what I should do is stop talking about no. things that aren't musical. <laughs> should we? Should we go back to music? We, you put, you just put out a record last week, so oh, we should at oh, least yeah. plug that. I mean, more Thanks. than plug, we should get into that, Thanks. man. Let's, right? Let's get into this. Here I have. Um, uh, oh, this is horrible. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but this is the uh, the CD. Okay, so, so yeah. th- thanks, Charlie. Um, uh, uh, this is um, this is my latest CD. Okay, yes, it's it's. Um, um, I don't care about my shit anymore, dude. I just don't even fucking care. Nobody does. There's just like twenty people who buy this, and I want to thank my buyers. Um, this is uh, I worked on this record with. Um, Tim Dahl and uh, Trevor Dunn. Uh, Trevor Dunn, he, he seems like he might have done some witchcraft in my house. Mm-hmm. If he did, <laughs> he's gonna wish he hadn't. <laughs> now, there might be, there might be an out. I like the guy. The I love is, Trevor. He's a chiller, though. I couldn't imagine him like hexing you, but maybe he's. You know... uh, well, he he might feel trapped. Either either way, 
he's he's got it out if he wants to come to the you know what side. <laughs> but that, that was a two part. Uh, I've been working on um, uh, 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 sub bass duos, and uh, you know the only way I know that I'm succeeding is by seeing simulations of my work, and maybe somebody knows a band called Simulacrum. That sounds kind of familiar to me. So what happens is when I record two years worth of shit on organ, the way I know what that I'm succeeding is I see a copy of the band rather than someone signing me and just getting the best shit because they're not actually interested. They, no one, music's not supposed to be good. And they don't care. They don't want it to be good. <laughs> Charlie, they will sell their book if it's really good, and they'll just fucking copy it. So, okay. All right. So, here, so, so, so the new the new record is it's you on drums. Yeah. This is the thing. I don't even I don't even oh. people who don't know you on the stream don't even yeah. know. Yeah, I mean you're a drummer, percussionist, yeah. and right. it's you and two contrabasses, right? Tim Dahl, right. Trevor Dunn, playing yeah. mostly with a with bows, right? It's mostly bowed. What I what I heard was so it's, it's about seventy percent. Um, and, and part of the yeah. conducting is or Arco. Yeah. Or Ponticello. I, I, I divide the, uh, it's it, the, uh, the way I compose the, um, the, the two albums. There's two of them. These albums are fucking good, by the way, and I'm just saying that because I made. Yeah, 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 guys, everyone. Th these these records are called Die Motherfucker, right? I mean, that's the that's the, the Die the... Motherfucker, and and the point is, what does that mean? What that means is the systemic patricide, the death of fathers. You understand me? I, I think, yeah. Um, a father is a motherfucker, yes? Oh, yes. Okay, right. Yes, right. yes. Yes, my good friend. So, so yeah, so that's die, that's die Motherfucker 1 and Die Motherfucker 2, and they're both, oh, they're yes. both in this trio format. And yes. it, that's the thing. I could tell it was composed music. Oh, but thanks but, for saying that. But, but no, but I couldn't tell, like how it was composed. I mean, I couldn't. You know what I mean? Like clearly, there is free elements, right? I mean, right. At least free detail. Yes. Right. I mean. So, so what I do is I um, uh, th there's a page, a score, and there's a drum part, and there's a vocal part, and then the contrabass parts have tempos registers so in, in parts of the neck that they want that they use and and then there's three or four or five other additional elements but what i'm doing is the way i would think of it is without talking about it too much is that um i you you have a set you have a scene i'm directing it but the character the actors get to define their characters they know what their vocals kind of are <laughs> They get to they get to choose how that's expressed. So okay. it's like you said, Charlie. They, they, um, but but it's defined. I want to say up to fifty percent or something. So so yeah, additional so, scoring. So what you have written down is like, do, do you do like shapes, like graphic shapes of like up and down, like that kind of thing, or or uh, like I, I don't I don't usually there's um there's actual staff staff lines. Oh, okay, with uh, pitches, uh, you, you write like you know st traditional I, pitch. I, I just, just, I do that verbal. Um, but the key thing, which I'm, I don't want to specify more than that. The key thing is that um, instant composing is not necessarily improvising, or or the player can define that because I'm providing a. I'm providing staffs and they're not all written in, but it's things are defined and there's blank spaces where the players know their constraints mm -hmm. and they get to define um, their melodic lines um, because of the energy is better. And I would do through composed more often, Charlie, but uh, I don't live in the city. <laughs> <laughs> so like um so like are you with that kind of approach like uh i don't want to presume 
your influences, you know what I mean? Because you could arrive at these things by any path. But I wonder, like, are you into, like, AACM stuff, Roscoe Mitchell, Anthony Braxton, this kind of thing uh, at all? Or I, I love Braxton. Uh, uh, I, I'm, I'm um, into maximalism, and, and I'm yeah. probably one of the reasons that got ruined. <laughs> not, that I, not that I want to say it, but, but people saying, I'm a maximalist. No, no, no. Shut the fuck up. You know what a maximalist is? Okay. Maximalist is Mahler, Avreyamov, uh, Branka, Braxton, mm. Stockhausen. Do you have multiple orchestras? Yeah. Wagner. Do you a have... Maximalist. Right. You don't get to say I'm a maximalist. <laughs> I just did a maximalist piece. And, and and the players were like almost resenting me. That's how you know you're doing a mass maximalist piece because your personnel are mad at you because right, it's right. too fucking much to ask of a person. All right. So maximalism. So basically, Charlie, I'm the bronca of death metal. That's what it comes down to. And that's just the truth. It's mm. not because I want to say that. His pieces are brilliant because they're functional. They're not just good musically. And, uh, and he understands pure sound, but okay. There's recent uh, renditions by a French orchestra. The players are mid proficiency. Everyone's having a good time. <laughs> right, shit is fun. It's like it's very intelligent. It's not just intelligent like difficult uh, Penderecki, where there's se- which is okay too, but with seventy six individual parts for every string player. Right. It's not that just that it's intelligent, functionally intelligent, where his score is fun. Um, and and, and the, it, it's the functionality is also it, it. You know, I love virtuosity, but he, he allows for mid or low proficiency, which is what's brilliant about Bronco. Yes, it's very practical. And there's something kind of social about that. You know, you're not Precisely. just like weeding, weeding your 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 talent pool yeah. down to the most although yeah. the thing is though your people you play with or ha- yeah. who play your music are like super virtuosos man because that they, the, though that brass Dude, piece the fucking people my, oh, the my, brass piece this one that was my favorite yeah math uh what was it circa uh uh some maths certified classified math. math classified maths of course it yes. said classified i thought of the cia and shit but um right. but that but but sure. but music itself just on the level of music itself that was actually yeah. some of my favorite stuff i haven't checked out literally Thanks. everything you've done uh, uh for sure but that I'll was blame my, you but that was my favorite thing that i've that i've seen of yours and um it seemed the most composed i mean i could tell that the players had some in- input in there but it, it had like these harmonic zones, the 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 sort of the the conducting was was quite legible. Not that things have to be legible to be deep, but I appreciated, you know, I just sort of appreciated that. And uh, I mean, yeah, you had That's like a good Pete, record. you had you had Peter Evans on there, who's like he's like one of the greatest trumpet players on earth. Not he is. just not, not I don't just, even want to say it anymore, but it's just yeah it, yeah. I the mean, thing but, is, he 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 keeps he's like like me in a way. We what, he refuses to stop learning yes yes it's a, it's a, it's, a no, it's like i'm tired we just ate dinner he's still kind of learning it's yeah. like god damn it no he won't stop yeah and, yeah yeah uh, no that that humility amidst the amidst the, and, the power and yes and, and and the extended technique which is where we're get what we're getting into <sighs> Because, listen, I sinned against death metal because Weasel Walter, because I let him play. Don't get me wrong. It would have happened anyway. I'm not taking all the credit. But I let Weasel Walter do um, unplugged bass in my black metal band in 1996, which I can send you the by 1997, he was Wait. starting to get into it, but he was a jazz guy. He didn't play any metal. But Wait, sorry, very... you're, you're talking about Aborted Christ Child? That's that's yeah. the that's the project you're talking about? Yes. And and that stuff was awesome. And and Weasel plays bass in Aborted Christ well, Child? Well, he, he was a session bass player uh, by 2000. But here's the key. Here, there's a key thing that I want people to understand, which is why um, I hate colored shirt metal uh, so much 
uh, because it didn't exist. And the smarty pants, there were like it, they, metal was dumb. Like the, it was rightly frowned upon. You know what? The subject is too extreme, is too uh, broad. Let me focus on your answer because we have a, a, a limited time here and limited understanding. The answer is that Weasel Walter gave his fucking time, his personal time, and helped. I needed an engineer uh, for my band. And he was a jazz guy and a rock guy, but but he's the foremost no wave scholar. There's no one's going to be more no wave than him. He, he really the original. is. There's really nobody is. ever going to be more no wave than him, which is one one of the things that irritates me is, is latter day no wave projects aren't that no wave, and they have this like other shit. That makes them that. And you know he wants to back into some badge, and that's okay. I don't blame the old boy, but Jesus Christ, I just wish. <laughs> piece of some real fucking no wave i want to hear some rebar well he uh, plays uh he plays in lydia's bands i mean that's his no wave know, but it's it was kind of rock and don't get me wrong i danced at the live show i'm not gonna bitch if i dance at a live show then i should shut the fuck up because the band did the job if somebody as cool as me dances at your live yeah. show that's yeah. it you win yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. it yeah it did no, but it's rock. It's no, it's more. It is more like no wavy rock. It's not like DNA, Precisely. like uh, right. U.S. Maple, like which is just bizarre fucking... because his he, he's so musicologically proficient, where he can isolate uh, the drum beats of, like, say, a band like Christian. Um, but at the same time, they, he starts to mix the mix. He he's a. Uh, but anyway, that's not the point. Yep. What we're talking about is free metal. And the difference between free metal and jazz metal. Um, yeah. Free metal doesn't have any jazz idiomatically in it. It has methods of free music, which were already existing in, in, in metal. And jazz and metal have always been connected. And, and yes. the Sia, uh, uh, don't talk about them. The F, Black Sabbath had jazz sets or something where they played okay that's always existed however free metal is from me mm, okay. and me alone all right all it right. would have happened it would have happened anyway all right, but, but, i just but, happened but, to be the fucking guy who was there doing it here's the thing and i'll shut up for a second and then i please add i just want to get this out charlie yeah yeah, yeah. You thank you It was so worthless. Free metal was so worthless until it was worth something to everybody else. And I wasn't a part of it. Now, I'm not complaining. I think it's generally been like that. And I don't even feel sympathy for myself or for any musician. I feel sympathy for men and women who are putting their ass on the fucking line in real ways. And I, I, I'm actually kind of starting to hate musicians. <laughs> yeah, we're a bunch of low stakes motherfuckers. Ultimately, I mean, just I mean, it's, it's like there's people who are putting their ass on the line, and we're like, "Hey, do, do, do. it's like, no, I'm, I'm just like, I'm ashamed on my deathbed. I'm gonna look at me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Apparently, that's what we're doing now. Yeah, so no, if you it's go to, like, yeah, if the aborted Christ child stuff. Let me try and wrap this up with the free metal thing. Um, if Venom has improvised parts. And also shredding, which is an incredibly misused term. Shredding is onomatopoeia, or I'm going to state some obvious things that everyone knows, but they bear stating mm -hmm. since millennials have ruined metal, completely ruined it, and I don't even want to be associated with it. It's triple timing with the down, jug, 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 jug. That's shredding. Shredding. Yeah. Right, obviously, but yes. people don't realize that it, it, it is so. That is improvised metal. That, that I'm saying, I'm I'm saying I'm talking about musicology that precedes my introduction of free metal into the greater canon. When a thrash guy or a speed metal guy, and and thrash is just a Ooh, now you're frozen. Now you're frozen. Neo classical thrash. Uh, oh, 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 oh. But 
but when they go and, and when they when they uh, solo, the solo isn't always three composed. Oh, not at all. I, I mean, if we're talking about like, uh, well, K- Carrie King is not my favorite but i mean his stuff is clearly like really out it's kind of atonal like it's, early it's, shit he's it's he's just atonal. looking at frets he doesn't know what key it no, is. no it's quite atonal but i mean once once you get to trey azigthoth that's right. where you're really looking at like ornette st- type, type no his stuff's mostly improvised his solos I think so. what, what's that are you wait you're breaking up here I yeah. like maybe 50 50 and and, and uh, I got the impression it wasn't that improvised. I, I, I apparently, I mean, at least Colin Marston and some of these cats that that know him a little have said that have said that it's largely improvised. Okay, um, well, let's assume it is. Whether it is or is not is beyond the scope of this discussion. Yeah, it sounds Point. like it. I mean, it's that language okay. at, at the very exactly. least. Exactly. You know? Yeah. That is free metal that already existed. Yeah. There's no jazz in it, though. Right. Right. Now, right. jazz metal. If Peter Evans plays a fucking uh, what's it called you know, with the gospel drummer and the guitarist, um, who does you know, at the fucking venue? At does, the, uh, what does Peter Evans play with a in a jazz metal band with a gospel drummer? He, I, yeah, yeah, he did. He did, and that is consummate jazz metal. Oh, what's uh, that? Ba- do you remember what that band is called? What the like? Oh yeah, um, it sounds like I was black fella on the drums, and it's really cool because he's. Because it's uh, all the bass drums are so <laughs> um, gospel. Saint Vitus, Saint Vitus, Saint Vitus. Wait, the the band Saint Vitus? No, it's at the venue Saint Vitus. Uh, okay, I can't remember the project. My point in, in talking about this trio yeah. that was Peter Evans on trumpet is that that is consummate jazz rock, a uh, uh, jazz metal. Yeah, um, and, and and you know Sweetwater. When I get a Sweetwater mailer to buy for me to buy their material, Sweetwater the uh, music merchandise. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like now they have jazz metal. <laughs> and I'm right, like, right, right. I'm like, I'm like, I'm gonna die in like ten years, and this is how. <laughs> this, this is, is what the life. world. This, this is, is the world you're dancing. leaving behind. <laughs> I know. Yeah. So, so jazz metal occurred before I did, and right. I'm not taking credit for that. But there were right. bands like. Um, God, there, were, there were a lot of bands that that were called progressive metal that that um, what they're like yes it's always been like that yeah um, but um what what didn't exist was straight ahead death metal or straight ahead black metal bands that had improvised parts that were still within the idiom yes it's very right. obvious it, there's, there's not that many variables uh you're looking at 64 30 second notes probably in between those yeah. you know, digga, 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 digga. i'm obviously I'm surprised, uh, I'm surprised that there isn't because i mean aborted christ child i mean if that's that's free metal that's sort of death it kind of reminds me of like war metal i mean if i had to genre it, it it's but, it's turned out to be that we but, thought but, it was black metal but but i mean yeah like i'm surprised there aren't there isn't free black metal that's like uh, I don't know if it would be good or not, but I'm surprised it doesn't exist. What like bands using the language of like romantic, you know, like like romantic uh, minor mode Wagnerian, uh, you know, that type of black metal, but improvised. I hope there is. I mean, that would sound, you know, if you had two guitars doing tremolo shit with like really tasteful, like interesting counterpoint, but it's like improvised with the tremolo. I mean, exactly. It could be. It could be great, but I mean, I'm not the guy to like do it but i mean someone should do probably it. could be yeah but i mean but uh aborted christ child was in the it, 90s it, right it was a long time yeah ago. yeah that was that was 95 yeah. 96 and then it was over by uh i want to say 2000 but we did a live show now free metal not even jazz metal free metal would have occurred anyway whether i happened or not in fact i never expected to be the person that introduced a, a music and, and uh, maybe I don't do deserve credit because there's always going to be somebody who's. Here's what I'm getting at. By 2004, it occurred naturally, and I was kind of there. It was in San Francisco. Um, uh, there was Mick Barr and Zach Hill. Yes. Um, and um, and you worked with Mick, you, uh, not Zach, right? But Mick, though, for sure. Yeah, I I, I met Zach. Um, and, uh, and uh, yeah, I. Uh, but 
as soon as that happened in Frisco, that was like it got it, uh, Then it was like official. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is fine. It's not yeah. that good. I mean, it's pretty good. It's not that good. It's not as it's not as good as like really good classical music, you know. I I, rem- I I read somewhere you were you were saying how you really have felt like a serious rift with the metal community, um, like kind of like almost like alienated and 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 stuff. I mean, is it is it largely because of people doing like free metal shit that you find is like subpar, um, or is it more or or is there are there like kind of like almost like <clears throat> other reasons going on there? Well, well, this this is hard to talk about because it's so easy for me to me- you know I'm kind of dislikable as it is. If I don't choose my words wisely, I could just completely make almost everyone hate me, um, which is apparently kind of not hard to do it for me in this life. But um, you have to understand uh, how annoying the. uh, So so in 2000, there was this band called Weakling. Oh, yeah, yeah. Frisco. Okay. Overrated, just, but good, in my opinion. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> and by 2005, record store clerks, okay, who looked like Elvis Costello, thought they had an opinion on black metal. Now, I am an elitist, but I'm not elitist to be like, those damn record store clerks, I hate them! But you have to understand how irritating the development was. Because in the mid '90s, they not only didn't know shit about it; it was stupid, and they were kind of right. Metal was stupid. Metal was like PCP victims. It was like yeah, man. It, well, it was like a kid with a it was like a kid with like a peach fuzz mustache smoking a menthol, kicking the curb. It was like it was like bandanas on the thigh. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. No, no, I, I remember. Just, yeah, in the '90s, yeah. that was like in the '90s, that was like it was good. Metal was so fucking dumb. It would prevent okay. you from getting pussy when you were. I mean, it was like not a calling. It would. It yeah. was not a calling card. And I mean, right. yeah, like yeah. So knowing that death metal was good, but, but we didn't want anyone to know. Right. And and here's what I'm trying to say. I don't want to come off the wrong way. I don't care that it became popular or that it caught on. That's inevitable. But we um, we had created a little. Easter egg that was separated, that was unruinable. That's why we were like, yeah! no one could like that. No yeah. one wants to hear. Yeah! I mean, a 19 year old who's vomiting from vodka wants to hear that. Even a 22 year old is like, you know what? Can you have the parts without the? Yeah! No. So we turned up the contrast so far that it could be completely unlikable. And the result was that instead of five years for this culture to become known it took about 15 years to get ruined and then suddenly the wire magazine it's just this process dude it's the same process it's always been the same yeah. I'm no, not it was annoying it was, with metal though it was it was annoying it, it was here's how irritating it was because it was completely dismissed and then the people who had d- dismissed it, it's like Schopenhauer says, the, you know, the, the stages that an idea goes through. First, it's ridiculed. You know what I mean? That that thing. Is that? No, like no. That. I, I don't actually. Hit, hit me to that. Oh, I, I have not really read Schopenhauer. Schopenhauer. First, an idea is ridiculed. Then it's something. And then it's accepted as a given. Right, so, right, right. So these Alvis Costello looking motherfuckers who I had to pawn my cool metal records to suddenly they had an opinion and suddenly the wire magazine was like the new sun, you know, sun O S S U N N. The new sun album is amazing. Black metal. Do you understand? It's like seeing your grandma break dance. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's no, just, I, know. I don't want to see. Right. It's like seeing your yeah. dad's well, naked it's, ass. It's, I it's, don't want to see that. Well, it's, it's the thing that's annoying is that it's the same people who made fun of it before it's not just Precisely. that they it's, 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 it's not start... just that they had ignored it they had like made fun of it so now the and, masks uh, are off and no one's identified that they took band shots that's what bands who got a logo on a mask <laughs> if Dude. you got your logo on a mask you've always sucked 
<laughs> Dude, I gotta drain the vein. Can you buy? Can you buy me like thirty seconds? I can absolutely buy you thirty seconds. You're a nice Mando. man, dude. I'm, you know, I'm, I thought you were kind of a snarky cunt, but you know what? You're fucking a little more talented than I thought. To be honest, bro. But I knew you were good, dude, because I knew you from Z's, and I bought that fucking CD. By the way, of, yeah, I, I, I know you that. did. Yeah, I know you did, man. You don't How need to back it because I get around, man. I've been in the yeah, you do, motherfucker. <laughs> dude, you're, hold on, dude. I got. I got, I got Oh, yeah, yeah it's, this is a good time for an intermission. Uh, yeah, I feel like I'm doing like uh, doing like two uh, two hour tops, and we're only at like 120 now. But um, ha- during the intermission, why don't I look at the comments here and let me see if there are particular comments that maybe like uh, questions. Someone, someone, people write in write in questions that you want me to get to with Nandor in the next or like the second the second act here. Um, cause yeah, we can like take requests and stuff. I want to hear him talk about psychedelics and stuff. Um, I want to hear him. Jax Mill says, talk about Andrew WK. Oh, that could be sick. I love Andrew WK. Um, <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, but I, I don't, um, oh, I guess cause, uh, cause Nandor was in, uh, to live and shave in LA. That was another thing. So, and I know Andrew WK was in that too. So I don't know, maybe that's something. Um, yeah, I think also, you know, I, drugs are always so sensationalist uh, that I don't know about, you know, forcing a drug, a drug, uh, the drug angle. But I, I do, uh, I know Nandor has identified himself as a psychedelic criminal. So that might be something yeah. I might want to ask him about. What's up, man? Bro, leak, bro, that, dude, out. that was a big bag of beer. Let me just tell you what happened. Yeah, dude, there, get, man. dude, unwind, oh, man. It's like you know, you oh, need to, man. yeah, be loose for this shit. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's 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 move away from metal, dude. Um, okay. I mean, there's like, yeah, I I'm I'm thinking of like um, I am thinking of uh, just really like that Lydia podcast, that it, like your podcast with yeah. Lydia. There was so much stuff you brought up, but like I wish they had like let you actually speak and shit because I like yeah. wanted to hear. I just like wanted they, to hear they, more. They, they don't. Yeah, we, like, yeah, I, yeah they, they're like it, it was like sparring. Uh, yeah, it's more yeah, combative, yeah. man. I'm just yeah. like, I mean, okay, we could. We'll, if, we'll touch on that, brother. Touch well, on that. well, like, well, you were talking. You called yourself. And this was in the beginning of that podcast. You called yourself a psychedelic yeah. criminal, yeah. and you also described yourself as a convict. I hate that. You also described yourself as a convict. No, I didn't. It, no. No, I didn't. I may have. Okay. Maybe I'm I. Maybe one I'm, of free last people. Hold on. I described. I didn't want to touch on this. Okay, you don't have to, but... No, I didn't describe myself as a convict. No? No. <laughs> and I never would. All right, all that. right. My <laughs> fault, man. My fault. Yeah, 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 no, 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 no. It's no shade on you, brother. You, you, you're, you're just shining a fucking flashlight. And by the way, I'd be an idiot if I gave you sh- shade for doing that. Right? Well, misheard or something. I would you... be thanking you. I would be buying you a beer, motherfucker. But, Here's but, the point. But so... I was, was... Have you ever been to county jail, dude? Uh, no, no, I have okay. not. There I was is. in a holding cell for like two hours because of some car shit, but like, yeah. Cl- close enough. So you had a <laughs> little good little taste. Yeah, I, it, I didn't enjoy it. It's actually funny. I they, they, they brought me in for some taillight shit or some fucked up. No, okay. it was like some registration shit, but I actually that did. even... But I, but oh, I actually, man. I did have an eight ball in the car, but they like didn't find it. So I was like, I was in that fucking holding cell like, oh Jesus, where is this going? But then uh, wow. they, didn't, they didn't actually like root around, so it turned out to All be right. absolutely. Well, look, absolutely as long absolutely as you fun. were stressed out of your mind, I'm, I'll be happy. Yeah. Anyway, okay? yeah. Keep going, county county jail. What was what's the what's the what's the deal? Well, I don't want to talk about it at all. Oh, okay. Um, well, fuck look, it. Look, 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 they're, they're gonna. Uh, oh, I got out. Uh, uh, you know. Uh, look, look, look. I would never voluntarily cut a person's head off. Let's just leave it at that. Okay. Not I, voluntarily. Yeah. Okay. I, not yeah, voluntarily. Yeah. No, no, right. totally, totally. Yeah, no, no. I, I just want to help people defend uh, the innocent. Um, Word, we'll they say, we'll, they yeah. have to build a person's criminal record so that a person can have their soul eaten because yeah. Satanism is an is a insanely um, entrenched system um, that I'm willing to talk about, but 
um, <clears throat> without dressing it up too much, Charlie, I don't do it lightly and I do it with concern, even though I don't really fear for my life anymore. Um, I couldn't the way I'm, uh, the thing is that, um, you know, running your mouth off, is not the best of ideas. Yeah. I mean, we could, we could forget about the angle of crime versus like whatever, but, but as far as psychic, oh, I'm not a criminal, I, I'm not a criminal as... in the least. Uh, I, I, cool. dude, I've been, been, been <sighs> that was kind of stupid. It's like, I wanted to, maybe I wanted to frame that. The fact is that I am an outlaw because being good, overtly good, is virtually illegal now, up to a degree. And, and by the way, there are some tough fucking men and women who are putting their asses on the line for this country and for good people, stopping, protecting sex trafficking victims. Yep. And really fucking dangerous work. And, 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 and there's women in South America who are reporting on, on, on corruption and their lives are being destroyed and they're being raped and jailed. And those people deserve respect. Hell All yeah. A bunch of musicians. Hell yeah. Um, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And, 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 uh, uh, and there's, yeah. there's people who are like, like virtually saints uh, or are saints. And uh, we can change the weather. And there's a lot of good things going on right now. It looks like the Republic has fallen. Uh, Washington, D.C. is a ghost town. <laughs> Even yeah. the underground city is unoccupied. And, and the question is, why would... They, who would be spraying fluorides, fluorides, excuse me, uh, <laughs> who would be spraying chemtrails? Uh -huh. Boy, I just discredited myself there. Um, <laughs> it's great. I, I actually don't know anything about chemtrails. I know people make fun of the idea, but I actually have never even read. Like, anyone who a, makes fun of the idea um, should, be, uh, should shove their head in the toilet. Um, yeah, I, I haven't. Uh, I haven't even checked it out. Uh, well, well, uh, I was outside with a young person, and it felt like um, fifteen sh showers of hairspray. Uh, okay, look, it, it's got desiccated bovine viruses and silver in it. Uh, okay, you know what? We just went off. This isn't yeah. helping. Yeah. Here, here, here's yeah. what I wanted to say. Okay. If you're spraying something in the sky, who would spray something in the sky? Who's not under the sky? You understand what I'm saying? Is that Satan words, or no? Uh... Well, well, Satan controls the sky. What I'm getting at is someone is paying pilots to fly and spray this shit out. And it's, okay. it's, and it's killing people. Okay. Or it's bad for you. My point is who is paying for this? That isn't subject to the sky. Who's not under the sky. See what I'm saying? It's like when you do warfare, you do localize it. You do it. So it's not over you. Right. Okay. So yeah. So who? Do, so do, what's is, the answer? Is that a rhetorical? Answer, or, yeah. No. No. I'm going to tell you what the answer is. Sick. Okay. They're not above ground. <laughs> That's oh, the okay. only possible. Yeah. Oh, you right. see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? Who's the only people who would be like, okay, spray everything above ground? Right. It's well, who, too. It's yeah. too total. It's well, who too is, total. Who is under there? that? Because that that I don't really uh, have a sense of. Like. Oh my God! I am so sure you don't. Yeah, what's that? What's the vibe under the? <laughs> I mean, well, there's deep underground military bases. Uh, we've been trying to flood them, um, but you have to understand location uh, directions are absolute. The up is only up. There's no up, but it depends. Down where your floor is, it's the same everywhere on Earth. It's yeah. always down, uh, and up is always up, and that always points towards heaven because as i said uh, before and, and i know you're going to feel this um mm. people in medieval times were way more psychic and we're losing information and that's why we have scientism scientism is bad science and uh around 1870 something 
science became classified and you don't have science anymore what you have is you know you know just bullshit well you have experts now you have expertise right, right. so you have science with a capital s on the like hashtag believe science like that's what you have Sci you don't it's, have we call it scientism is that what it's, scientism is that's scientism like scientism is the synthetic religion of science like scientology right, like right. benibereth like any it's like the, having a it's fucking the holy uh, Satanist behind it these synthetic religions you know um right it's like fauci on your bumper sticker is is scientism is that what we're talking about here or like <laughs> Uh, that's the that's the latest tip, but um, evolution, okay, w which um, Darwin basically re re rescinded on his deathbed because it's a theory. Um, the second law of thermodynamics is things or things move out of order. I don't drop a deck of cards; they don't fall into a stack. Right. Evolution is saying that biology falls into a stack it's unfucking supportable and the key thing is that no one has uh, very few people they've turned us into morons charlie remember uh johnny rotten they made you a moron <laughs> yes that? right yes okay yes. okay that's british intelligence telling you they're insulting you because they have taken war fighting men who by the age of about 20 to 25 should be adults and they've made us punk rockers with mohawks and we're acting acting not like morons and some of us are acting like imbeciles man which is yes. younger than a moron and yeah. then under imbeciles you have an idiot an idiot right 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 an right, idiot right. has an is an id they have no oh is that where no. that word comes from just an yes. id like driven by you're just an id, id. Yeah. It, it's it's like it gets cold in here. I'm like, and I'm like, Charlie, it's cold. I, Charlie, why cold? Charlie, and I'm mad at you, Charlie. Cause right, just because I'm here. Yeah, yeah. No, it's funny. It's funny how those words used to be like scientifically, uh, val you know, whatever, like just IQ levels or whatever, you know. So you could call someone a moron. It's like not even an insult. It's just like a neutral description. No, that's a scientific like, term. A moron is a person with the intelligent age of a late teenager teenager or late teenager an imbecile you're looking at somebody who's like i don't know eight to right 12. an idiot and, it's like baby level and shit basically yeah right yeah right so british intelligence um have been weaponizing culture and they have been making fun of us and once you figure it out it's kind of even though it's super mean it's like if I, it's like Charlie, if it's like you passed out and I wrote shithead on your forehead, uh -huh. that, that wouldn't be enough, dude. You wake up and then you're like, I taught you to like or I hypnotized you to say, I like being a shithead. You understand? And then you go on to the week nightly news. And you're like, I'm Charlie <laughs> and I like being a shit. It's very mean. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay, it's yeah, super yeah. mean for me to like mock you like that. Uh, what I'm saying, if you don't mind, what I mean is well, they did that. They did that to the public using culture and by using punk rock, they made us act like fucking retards. I, I, I have heard that idea that punk rock is was a psyop. And I, I, I'm starting to like think about more and more like I hadn't really thought about it as a conspiracy thing. But I but the diminishing it's more than diminishing returns. Just watching the, the effects of punk on like numerous generations I mean, yeah. it's it's like white gangster rap, and I love, I like punk, and I like gangster rap, but it is basically trying to get people to fucking destroy themselves. Uh, I never really thought about it as like an intelligence operation, but so you're talking about British intelligence. Start so punk comes from British intelligence, not American. Oh, hell's yeah! Like starting so, from Sex Pistols, so like the Ramones are not part no, of the psyop, no, no, brother. Or, or... Even before R Ramones are Ramones are apparently an organic thing from New York that where they saved rock and roll by counteracting, you know, Emerson, Lake and Palmer. Yeah. Where, where these banks of synthesizers and this glitter shit, because, um, because rock was becoming too expensive and elaborate. And, um, you know, uh, HR from Bad Brains said that the, 
that the Ramones saved rock and roll, and that's because he knows what the fuck is going on, that guy. Right. And, okay. And, and Bad Brains are an unruinable band. Like that shit's worst. not a. That's no psyop, man. And so the yeah, no, 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 Bad Brains. But but yeah. but the Hudsons have kind of connections, and actually, uh, Slash from Guns N' Roses, his name is Hudson, also. Oh. Uh, yeah. So, but here's the thing: is um, the worst track that Bad Brains, and I'm not. I don't even listen to Bad Brains, but I'm just going to say, just it's a, an objective, is the worst track that Bad Brains ever did is better than most um, punk rock. Or, yeah, I, yeah, I feel that. But that's uh, organic. Did, Ramones are organic. Like, I mean, how about... Yeah, this, exactly. Was, was, I mean, were Stoo- the Stooges part of the, uh, the punk rock psyop? Like, how, uh, how deep uh, does it go? Well, Velvet Underground? Iggy, Iggy, like... Iggy is like a reptoid. So, so okay. it doesn't matter how much he talks. Um, had reptoid actors after night. When when the people, when the uh, elf movie, oh man, you're breaking up, dude! Dude, your mic's breaking up right they when made you're getting all to these Elvis it. movies. Remember the Elvis movies in the late '60s? Yes, it's all reptoids, and that's why the new Scorsese they have this super advanced because uh, they want to hide the reptoid splits. And I used to show them because um, they, they wouldn't notice, um, but but. Uh, the Air Force is um, there's always a branch of the military that I kind of fancy. I thought it was pretty cool. Um, I, and I hope they forgive me. Please don't kill me. They're, they're definitely the, the coolest of all. They're the smartest it of all. It seems like it. I mean, they're, they're like the nerds. <laughs> no, they're like the, the nerds. But it should be. The Army is the default military branch. And I this is not theory. I yeah. uh, checked into it. The army is all military branches come from the army, and the CIA basically means the army. And okay, the CIA yeah. Used to be have a motto that which was for American business. In other words, all the CIA's operations, whether it required a flexible morale, moral compass or not, was in furtherance of American business and the American economy. And uh, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say, it's not like that's quite the case anymore. If you know what I mean? Um, dude, ah, it, it just keeps kind of breaking up on that headset, man. Oh, that's so, awesome. Th- so, now so, I so, hear you, bro. Now I hear you. Okay, okay. So who, so who, so the Delta Squadron is spraying the shit. Now they stop. We stop that. Okay. One of the ways I stopped that was with this fucking album. Here's Which the thing. I'm competing, trying to compete with these people. We're getting all the rights, write-ups. Band camps, new thing. Oh, this is good. Okay. My album is doing a fucking occult operations. Okay. Okay. That are, I'm not even going to say what the album is. I don't care anymore. You know what? I don't even want to sell albums anymore. You, you, I, shouldn't, I shouldn't tell the people what, what album you're holding up? Or no? No, I don't care Just anymore. leave it. Okay. But one of your yep. records, you're fighting against... Uh, Clip, which... no, we look. I. Uh, it's Glyptoglossio. Glyptoglossio is my ass kick to all free metal, which started to take off. And these like non Nirvana com- cover bands, which were not. I mean, I'm exaggerating. I'm like, saying things that are kind of douchey sounding. No, but people biting your shit, dude. I, I, you know, yeah. <laughs> which, I, which I believe. Which it. I, which, I believe. Hey, it. hey, hey. I'm flattered. There was some shit where I thought it was me. Okay, that, that's what I'm saying. Now, now here's my point. Not don't bite my shit. Bite my shit to hell. But buy one CD. See, that's what we used to do in the '90s. You buy one CD, then you steal the fuck out of it. They didn't do that. Now it gets yeah. worse. Don't buy one CD. Can I have the opening slot on the bill? No. Sucking your shit through a tube, nothing goes to you. Dude, if they let me announce the fucking band, I'd be like, what else, bro? Buy me a beer. I'll just, uh, I don't, no, 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 no. So when I go onto social media, may God have mercy on my soul. That was the gayest fucking thing I ever did. What was going on, Insta gay? Yes, dude. 
and all all the cool gays know I'm not anti-gay. You know Dude, why? Because yeah. it takes it used to take guts to be gay. Now it's illegal not to be. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. I fucking, I don't know, dude, social media, I've just leaned into this shit. Now that I'm doing this YouTube, I'm just like, I'm a fucking child. Like, I'm on this shit all the fucking time. Well, YouTube's different. I know it's, I mean, dude, everything though, Twitter, I I know, not Facebook, but this other shit. Well, like, work it. Like, You're not I know, like me, you can work it. You're the, a normal human being. The, the thing is, though, I mean, what it means to be a normal human being and have all the social media coursing through your, your fucking dopamine receptors I mean, it is sick. I mean, we, not sick like cool. I mean, it's it is disease. The Stanford but, prison experiment. But I'm I'm just like guzzling, man. I'm just guzzling it. It's bro. Just, look up I, and I'm, look up the Instagram on Wikipedia, and they get get into sharing, binge drinking, all the psychological warfare that it's doing, and it's stag and ram, which is which is Baphomet, and tag, which is tagging human beings like fucking deer here with a tag in your ear mm, okay. uh, and, 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 and of course um, but here's the point look you, you can work it you're doing well uh, just just because you know just because i'm incompetent doesn't mean you have to you know dude there's different yeah. competencies you're competently is, waging the war that you need to that you need yeah. to wage dude, man, it, I, you, I, it, it worked against me so bad i was doing magical experiments where i would broadcast things and um i'm you know i'm fighting a witch war dude i'm fighting mm. a witch war and pe- people are like people are like oh you're scared i'm like i'm gonna make you urinate in your pants right now you don't you know you don't, you don't fucking cat. No, 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 no. I am facing challenges. The point is that the lot birds are dead. Birds show up on my porch. Now, now they're not dead like they died. It's like folded. Yeah, like, like someone killed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right. Why? Because I'm provoking witchcraft. Because yeah. I am fighting witchcraft, and I'm an old witch, motherfucker, from a long time ago, and um, I'm I'm really not actually against witchcraft, but uh, I uh, I resent the people who abuse witchcraft selfishly. Okay, yeah. it's like here, yeah, we're all in a pool. Okay, you make some waves, and they're just like, I can piss in the pool. You can't. And they're like, I'm pissing. Now you get kicked out of the pool. They're like, oh, oh you have to be it. It, it. It's like you way overdid it. And it's like the turtle in the hair. You know, the, the Aesop's fable, Charlie? Yes, the turtle yes. In the hair. Yep, yep. So, so, so the, the turtle wins because he's so underestimated. He's like, and the hair is like runs up to the finish line and he lies down takes a nap and when he wakes up that turtle is putting his foot just over the line yeah for sure man i mean it's like it's hard to tell who's even winning and losing though right now it's like it's so uh it's so you're winning would you see like yeah who's who's you don't we don't care who's winning or losing right now because we know what the end is the end is that the good people win because god is good and god allows yeah, brother. I, I believe I believe in God for sure, Dude, man. I I'm mean, sorry, but God's a man. If, if people don't like that, I understand. I didn't want it to be a man, dude. <laughs> right, I right. didn't it just want is. it. What I wanted was either androgynous or preferably like a big mama. That was appealing to me, okay? Right, right. And so when I tell people God's a man, they don't like it. You know, I understand that. It's not my opinion. There's right. a face the Kabbalists and the Hasidic Jews, and they know who I am. In fact, the Hasidic Jews, who are the, the who've got the real fucking Kabbalah, those are the people I like. Them and the Amish, and the special forces and cool people. And I've met a lot of very cool enforcers in the last uh, year, in this year, including uh, the Templars. And uh, I respect them immensely. That's why I'm trying to tell you. It's like you get you get a little perspective on our on our thing. But um, God's face is called a macroposophus, okay, and it's not a belief. Okay? 
You understand? It, it's called okay. the macroposophus. It's already there. Um, and it's a man. And it has to be a man because masculine energy is first. The seed comes from the masculine. Okay. Before it gets to the egg. You understand? The yeah. egg is not first. Right. Activity and, is first, not receptivity. Well, you, the you, seed you is sent yeah. to the egg. The Male is an XY. That means we're half female, half male. X is female. Yes. Y is male. A female is XX. A female is a double female. A male is a half female. Yeah. Here's the mystery, my friend. Women know what we're thinking because we're obvious and we have like a big, ugly face mm -hmm. and they're like pretty and soft and they're just receptive. But they know what we're thinking. We don't know what they're thinking. Right. Right. Well, this is why. Right. I mean, the fact that God is a man doesn't actually mean that men necessarily are or should be running the show on Earth. It just means this is what God himself well, uh, is. This, exactly. God, God is a man and he contains. He's half female. So yeah. XY. Uh, females are double females. The thing is, I think we all know women have an edge over men. They can manipulate us better than we can. They, they even though they're receptive, a woman's going to tell you when you're getting some. Well, that's you're what not I was, deciding that. That's what See? I was saying. Like, I mean, women yeah. women are the judges. I mean, that's their role is right. to judge. You know, like you do some they, shit, and they're just like, "That was fucking bullshit." I mean, they're like right. quality control, basically. Right. <laughs> like you know, right? And that their power is completely total. That's why feminism is so destructive, because it's convincing women that they didn't have the power. They had the total power. They can shut down a man for no reason. Or any reason. And, 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 and traditionally, the only thing we had was being a disgusting fat wife beater. You know what I mean? With a grease stain. Like, a, right. and mistreating a woman. Which is obviously the most disgusting thing. And um, I can't imagine. I can't believe. Uh, of course I can believe. But men are were disgusting enough to hit on yeah, well, this women. Is the, the, women. This is but, what's weird right now with the way people yeah. talk and think. Because... That so many people, like, or at least normies yeah. and stuff, when they hear someone say that feminism is whack, they literally think that that means that you're a misogynist, or they think they think that you mean they think that you're into abusing women. It's like, which is yeah. just such a retarded. Like, why? You know what I'm saying? It's like time of feminism is like 50 years old or something. With the mind control, mind control is fucking cool. I hate it. Ah, you're breaking up. You're breaking up. I'm not getting it. I'm not mind getting it. Control. Yeah. Mind control. British intelligence. Like you said. So what happened is, Charlie, when a person indicts someone who's against feminism. Intelligence community, term for feminism, is called sex communism. Okay. Sex communism. Okay. Yes. Feminism is the Gloria Steinem bullshit, 1960s, burn your bra bullshit. And it's incredibly disgusting and evil. And they represent that your, uh, women's freedom. And, and by the way, I'm the first one to say, give this gal freedom. And don't, you know what I mean? Nobody mistreat females. I don't even want to think about it. Yeah. But, but there, Core. Man, dude, it, dude, it keeps it keeps breaking up, dude. Does that thing need to be okay. closer to your face or something? Okay, the core of this is this: when the Berlin Wall fell, right? No. Yep. The scorpions sang a song, some piece of <laughs> shit about the wings of change, and caused minor. Dude, whistling. Those guys are, if you have whistling right. in a song, you might need the electric chair, right? I mean, that's sort of Dude, like, I, I mean. You're so right. However, I am trying to, to attempt that. Are you? <laughs> then ride the lightning, brother. <laughs> Dude, I know. Yeah, it's a it's such a hair life. I'm like, the, the risk factor on this whistling track is high. 
Um, so what did that mean when the, when there was scorpions who've been to murder parties and they're deep, deeply I would imagine, yes, actually. You know, uh, we all thought, how wonderful. Well, what what was it really? You know, intelligence never tells you something unless it's bad for you. Now, it might be <laughs> neutral. It might it could possibly be neutral, but they've phased that out now. It's pretty much one hundred percent only bad for you. So anything that looks like it's good for you that they're letting you see is doubly bad for you. Yeah. Doubly. Why is the Berlin Wall falling bad for us? Well, the answer is not because communism is no, no longer a threat, but because the West is no longer a threat to communism. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. because yes, sex, yes, yes. Because, sex con because the female, the Western female mind has been destroyed. And don't get me wrong, I'm not saying there's not going to, I'm sure it's going to be 30, 40%. Women are generally good. The female mind is an entrance for Satan when it's used the proper way. Sex communism means that our families are permanently broken. Okay. Military men and men, any, and basically dudes I know who know what the fuck is up, their only wives or girlfriends they're looking for start in Eastern Europe and move to the Pacific. Nothing to the left, to the west of that. You understand me? Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and, I feel like and by the way, I'm not talking against American women and, um, uh, there's nothing I'd ra rather not say, but this is just the geopolitical situation. Yeah. We thought when the fa wall fucking fell, whatever, I already said it. The, the reason the wall fell is because um, our society had been destroyed and we deserve it because we have these douchebags in the fucking 50s on amphetamine. Um, you know what I'm saying? We, oh my God, the things we did, dude. Uh, the war crimes the U.S. committed, not that anybody else didn't, uh, but um, <sighs> the czar's revenge is it's Portland, dude. It's like <laughs> I, I'm getting I'm getting kicked off of Discogs by this like long hair. He's like, I smoke a lot of pot. And he's like, he keeps like posting. He's so like, saying this is a dude from Portland or like what? Like oh, God, Portland, dude, Portland. I don't know what else to say. Wait, of is that why you brought it up? Or no? Wait. Portland is an example in Seattle of how the West has fallen. I would degree. agree. I feel this. Yes. Okay. Yes. And capitalism has never been the enemy. Crony capitalism and predatory capitalism has always been disgusting. And they're the ones who want to destroy the middle class. And they use socialism. And the argument socialism fascism and these people who are anti-fascist I, I wish a bus would drive over their heads <laughs> yeah well, that's the not thing, the answer the, the thing about anti-fascism is that it relies on fascism for its own well, existence i mean if your whole deal as a person is that you're anti-fascist you want the shit to continue so you can keep on being what you are right i mean it's sort of like a negative identity you know on uh, top of that charlie there's been no government since the end of monarchy at the at the uh, 1900 that isn't fascist okay that's your only option so here's your choice the fascism is the above government you understand those are okay. the controllers yeah yeah that's it it's a it's a mafia there's a group of controllers now if you're in russia it's called oligarchs but here we have jeff bezos yes and uh uh, uh, uh you know tesla what's his name right? uh, elon musk Right. But we don't yeah. call them oligarchs. Yeah, well, it means. Uh, so I got, got some of my. Eyes. That's yeah. fascism. Okay, we get socialism. It's always the same, and the communism is the same thing, but fucking worse. The fascists are more fascist, and and, and there's no hope for at all for anybody. And uh, what you want is if you have to choose between socialism and fascism want fascism because you can maybe fuck your way up to the top you might be able to you can luck in you could 
be talented. You could be an enforcer. If you go socialist, there's no hope for you. Um, That's anti. I'm not. Well, I'm going to push back a little because, I mean, the original point of fascism was to reinstate monarchy. So, I mean. Really? Yeah, I mean, that's the whole. That was the lie. Well, it, it didn't go down probably that way, but I mean, if you're talking about like Mussolini, like Hitler, I mean, they just wanted a king, you know, and they got like the worst kings in like a long time. They didn't want a king. But like, well, they wanted an anti-democratic government. I mean, that would be, which which we probably both want. Absolutely, to get, they wanted that. Yeah, I mean. A I, corporatocracy. I, I, so, so here's the thing. Hitler and Mussolini, these people are working for the British government, Okay. This is, it's not even fucking ref- refutable. All right. King John the third is a cool person. I want to say who is my friend. You I haven't been him? able to keep, I, I'm going to say I know him because okay. I've communicated with him and I've talked with him on the, on the, not the phone, but the video phone. On the no computer. shit. Okay. Okay. Yeah. He's one of my favorite people. Um, J. Gregory Hallett. He's the best, at worst, he's the best science, uh, science, espionage author I've ever read. Yeah. Because his clearance is so insane that he gets to declass shit that would get most people killed. And they can't kill him generally, I would say. There's, There's some occult reasons or clearance reasons. But people who publish his shit get killed. Uh, I have his shit, and I, I uh, because I have clearance too in a, some crazy way. Um, the funny thing, Charlie, is when you get clearance, they don't tell you, and you don't know what your clearance is. You don't even know if you're in the CIA or not. And, oh shit! <laughs> yeah, you don't know, and they have a new t- trip, bro. Everyone's in the CIA. <laughs> so it's, it's it's just it's like the only people who know there are is is Stephen Colbert and, and like you know what I mean those are the only people who know oh I am it. and Jimmy Kimmel by the way I mean you know, there's uh, some of us who uh, are looking at him and I don't mean in a good way you know what I mean okay but but you you said the CIA though are are like actually after you though that are like they they are like... no 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 I'm in the CIA. Yeah. No, they're, they're training me. Okay. No, they're, they're making fun of me. Look, 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 look. They're like look, testing what? you as part. It's like a hazing ritual or something, kind of. Like. Something like that. Yeah, yeah. So, so, yeah. So, You're getting jumped in like a gang. Exactly. When you get you know? when you get fucked with, that what? If you're smart, the takeaway is, I haven't been killed. That's what you're like. It's like, oh, uh, you see what I'm saying? Like, okay. instead, of, instead, of, instead of being like, I didn't like that. What you could be like, oh, someone didn't just shoot me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. I feel it. It doesn't mean they won't. And and, um, it it doesn't... Moral flexibility is important, but here's the thing is, it doesn't really matter anymore because power is power. And if you got the power, then use the power. And, uh, you know, you can appreciate access to things. Um, You know, it's, it's very difficult, Charlie, to live in a world where what I expected was that I would have people around me and my thoughts would be private. And what I have is no one around me and my thoughts are not private. Oh, Jesus, man. It's like, it's exponentially, it's it's a bit rough. A bit rough. I, I, I think a lot of people feel that way, man. I think a lot. I think you nailed something that a lot of yeah. fucking people. I just are, If you gave me it. half of that, I would say that's fine. I would. I, let me ask. Actually, this thing about everyone being the CIA, that actually almost reminds me of the psychism, yeah. the sort of the yes. psychism point of view. Everyone's in the CIA. I mean, so it's Every like. Every person. So everyone being in the CIA, I mean, is that like yes. the kind of thing where it's like if you, you were saying how like this with psychism, everyone is psychic, but you filter it out. Um, right. you, you know, I mean, That's is this, is being in the CIA the same kind of thing where it's like, if, if you stop filtering it out, you gain the clearance that you already have kind of like you, you, you realize the clearance that you already are given. Is that, is that, or is that, uh, am I forcing that, that, a parallel? That, that, that's very interesting. Uh, I, I don't think, um, well, 
I'm different. Um, like I'm like five fucking thousand years old. So I couldn't quite at least. Um, so when you say you second person, it's too general a question. Right. I, I, yeah. I know what you're getting at. Well, because you said psychism, everyone is psychic and everyone's everyone is psychic. So you everyone can make it some universals, you know, you know. Yeah. That, no, yeah, that's that's fine. No, no, you're you're you're, we're, 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 you're touching on now you're starting to really, if I may say that you we're getting closer to something that might benefit everyone, which is what I want to do here with you. And yes. that's why I appreciate you. Uh, Hell yeah. Asking me. I really want to benefit something that's at a universal for people of all uh, well, there's, all, I, there's only two genders, but uh, uh, of all colors and also, most importantly, hybrids and non-human beings, which um, we accept being that we allow for free will. And that's why things are fucked up. And that's why atheists and pessimists suck so bad, because they're like, the world isn't the way I like it. That means I hate God. Yeah, well, God didn't, when you were born, make you sign a contract. The world's going to be the way you fucking like it. So step up and maybe kind of accept adversity and, and overreach that. But um, the, the CIA, it, you're talking about it's, uh, families. It's genetics. Okay. No. Um, and it's, there's a, been a lot of seed pop-offs but, um, and hybrids. And then there's subfamilies, obviously. Um the reason music is failing is because now they're limiting the access of venues. Um, and so the best musicians, people like me, um, had almost uh, no voice and I can't even perform. So that's why I appreciate this venue, Charlie. But the um, everyone is in the CIA because that's what the Internet is for. It's synthetic telepathy. So on this um, Dell computer I have, it says ThinkPad right here on this computer, right there when I'm talking to you on with this camera. Yep. It's right here. It's ThinkPad. And you have this band in Information Society. I want to know oh, yeah. what you're thinking. Dude, that was in the fucking early 90s. That's how I had it. You know why? Because they're priming us, grooming us like a child molester to start just, just talking off and speak spouting a bunch of bullshit or truth like i'm doing um but the thing is that they have access to you but you don't have access to them and, and that's not necessarily bad um but can, but can psychic power be used for good or against what you're talking about i mean is this something it, it always is witchcraft is actionable psychism yeah okay so yes. witchcraft are Witchcraft is, is witches are psychics who use who influence the ether because we're all submerged in, in a in a uh, I don't want to say a liquid, but um, that's the reason that uh, scientism was created was to dip, basically it all hinged on the ether and the Michelson Morley experiment which was designed to disprove the ether, which James Clerk Maxwell had the actual fucking mathematics. And he proved that the complex conjugate, the imaginary component, which they removed, heavy side removed from the equations so that it was black and white, a binary thing. And it, they classified uh, science. They classified science because it started to touch on spiritual issues and psychism and witchcraft is is cool and uh i like witches and uh i probably i i am i i was probably a witch and maybe even a black one or like some hungarian motherfucker. um are you hungarian totally... yeah dude that's why my name is fucking weird yeah. like oh you're you're jewish too right hungarian jew <laughs> yeah dude <laughs> yeah that is the funniest, dude. dude my family, my dude, family. Dude, yeah. that is the funniest fucking response. Good. I yeah. was like, I was like, you're Jewish. You're like, yeah. Look, I got some good shit. I I got some good shit. I got some genetic shit. I like Kabbalah. I like the Hasidic Jews have been 
The sick Jews have been coming coming up, and they saw me. They and get they're a bad cool. rep, man. They get a bad. Rep. I used to shit on Hasids. I think they're fucking base now, man, because they they have their own. They have. Well, something. they didn't take the jab, bro. But look, they they, they yeah, understand they the to... power of the, yeah. of the occult. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And their Kabbalah is insane. Bullshit walks, dude. They know where. They know who I am, and they know where I might be. And we're talking like in with a century scope, like in this century, yeah. this, because, okay. Um, Matitsa Bape and uh, sucking the blood, uh, cutting the foreskin. And by the way, where's my fucking foreskin? Yo, and dude, I want to tell you. Dude, dude, there's going to be, there's going to be. It's going to pay. Dude, there's going to be circumcision reparations, man. I, 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 I think at some point. I hope you're right, Charlie. I think because that's let me happen. tell you something. What I want fucking answers, <laughs> Yo, and I don't real. want this undershowered motherfucker <laughs> sucking the blood out of a baby's dick. It, it's like, oh, and we have the influence. It's so the bonkers. Government of New York City. It's so bonkers, uh, man. Uh, uh, okay, okay, and if the good Jews, of which they're made, they get lied from in their fucking eye by by like droids. Okay. But it's like, what's cool about all this horrible things, f first of all, um, I like Jewish breakfast. Yes, me too. Dude, I, Jews, yeah, okay. dude, I used to be yeah. kind of I like, hate Klezmer. I'm not a fan of Klezmer. <laughs> I, can't, I can't say I hate it. I just never vibe with it. Like, um, I feel like the clarinet may be good. Yeah, you can't know. say you hate it because you have a, a, a career, unlike some of us. Oh, dude. <laughs> Dude, I, I, dude, I used oh, to it's like I'm like half Jewish, so I like fucking flip flop. No, I used to say all kinds of anti-Semitic. You got a big ass nose. No, I know this is. I mean, this is the real shit. Dude, right you're here. so ugly that you're handsome. <laughs> yeah, you so should my... be in French. You are. I, I'm, I'm telling you, you should be in French. A movies. lot of women feel that way. Uh, my oh, girl, oh shit! My no, girl, no, it, my it, girl it, in so particular. Um, dude, that's a thing though. It's like not easy to get though. Where it's like, it's like. <laughs> It's literally more handsome than somebody who is. It's like Val Kilmer well, is dude, less you, handsome than you. Dude, if you want to be, if, same with women, dude. If you want to be hot, you have to be a little bit ugly or else it's just like kind of just weird fucking. You Maybe know, that's un, my problem. Uncanny, but yeah, you're just like straight up fucking. That's why I wanted shit. you to change the picture, Charlie, because it's like, I'm like, <laughs> I need to talk to pretty women. I don't but, think they want to see a psychotic maniac. But yo, the, on, on the, um. <laughs> On the uh, dude, if you want to talk to pretty women, YouTube is yeah. not what this is just incel school shooters, just dude, like oh front, God, dude. front dude. to back. It's a cesspool dude, on YouTube. Dude, preach. This is, but this is why I wanted to do YouTube instead of just a podcast because YouTube is such, such right. a schlock, it's such a schlock milieu that it's just like I feel like dude, that's and what there's like 49 people who yeah. hate this and love it and aren't going to identify themselves or like they're. Yeah. It's no, okay. so social media. It, but, that's but, the thing about social media, Charlie. It's like, it's like I'm like I upload this. Nobody likes it. Then something. It's like you put a, like a small hat here, and everyone's like, I hate this and nothing. And then like ten minutes later, everyone has the. You know what I mean? It's yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. Fucking yeah, fat. no, totally, totally. I, I, I like. I don't know, man. On, on, the, on the Jewish tip, though, I, I kind of like. I noticed that you've got a lot of. Uh, you know, you're talking a lot about people pulling the strings, but you haven't actually said anything that uh, that it's Jews one way or the other, which is like, I mean, I'm into that, you know, but it's like, I just, you know, I, I, I know you're probably not like sucking the dick of like every fucking drama of the week or whatever, but you know, the shit with Kanye talking about Jews, like it's pretty fucking big, man. It's pretty, <laughs> he's getting destroyed for saying stuff that like a lot of people think and a lot of people say, and it's like, well, it's not that anti, weird, you know. But, they have to have an anti. Yeah, the controlled opposition is absolutely necessary, and that doesn't necessarily invalidate Kanye. However, right. uh, they still need an anti that's still controllable. And my sources, even for mentioning him, uh, I mean, whatever I would know. <sighs> anti, here's how smart the situation is: anti-Semite. Jews are anti-Semites. Palestinians are Semites. The sons of Shem are the Arabs. Okay? Okay. 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 Yeah. I don't even want to talk to you about the war crimes I've seen with babies. 
ah, you froze, you froze up. We're losing. Whatever okay. you're saying right now, we're losing. You said yeah, that's it. That's right. Even, that's because that's because they're because uh, guess what? We're guess what? We're losing it. I know, now we're I getting know. a little bit close. Okay, yeah. so here's how we're going to talk about it. It's, um, it's a Jews of the real it, anti-Semites because Palestinians are the sons of Shem. Jew, 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 Jews are not. Jews are probably kind of in front of the Druids. There's genetic lines that have occult power. Sociologically, Judaism is a form of soft Satanism, and that's why you see an actor on Wikipedia or whatever that moved to Hollywood and converted to Judaism. What it means is they bought into Satanism. Does that mean all Jews are satanic? Of course not. Um, I don't have the ability to dislike Jews. Um, my mother is not Jewish, so I'm oh, not Jewish. Okay. Well, oh, so same, same with me, man. It's same, same thing. But so, but you do identify, man, because I was like you Jewish, and you're like, yeah, okay. Dude, I like a matzo ball soup, like a motherfucker. You do, man. yeah. So it's like it's cultural yeah. shit, man. It's got, yeah. yeah. I'm just like I hate, I hate klezmer, and I, I but, but um, I really appreciate. The, also been used charlie for people who don't have any, here's the point it doesn't it's not a genetic thing mm. he has so many layers of subterfuge and i have contacts who've made it crystal clear what the fuck happened uh without uh, bias um I, I, i'm grateful to have jewish blood does that mean i'm not gonna call call it out what i know um my own family it's like they eat their young. They literally eat their young. They literally put the baby in the fucking burn the baby for Baal. Okay, uh, Baal, B-A-A-L. Yes, okay. yes. Okay, you know why they do that? No. Because it produces good results. You know what I mean? It's a good living, you know what I'm saying? Bro, I'm going to grab a beer. But here, here's the thing, the, the anti-Semite thing, Let's let's change the subject. In fact, yeah, uh, yeah, it's amazing cool. they didn't they didn't switch the shit off. <laughs> Se Semites are Arabs, okay. Yeah. The yeah. terminology is already wrong. <laughs> yeah, Anti Semite, okay. okay, yeah. Jews are, and also the the diaspora was sent to wander, okay, and this. Um, uh, I, I don't want to get into it because um, yeah, we could we could switch it up, man. I mean, this is Jewish media. You are on a Jewish media network, so I mean, yeah. it's like you can say what the they've fuck got you a want. good breakfast. Okay? You can say you can say what yeah, you can say what the fuck you want. Yeah, yeah. You want to grab a beer, right. man? We could do like third intermission or second intermission, third act. How long is this shit, dude? Um, well, this is two hours. I mean, oh. I am actually like trying to trim it down. Like some of these go for three hours and they're so long that I can't upload them to That's the horrible. thing until okay, next so let's, month. Let, 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 let's, okay, Charlie, this is your program. It might be, um, why, don't, why don't we wrap it up, man? Because I know okay, we could. Okay, see, okay, this, let's, let's wrap it up. What, what, this so, hang, so, what, what this makes me think though, is that like when I'm in New York, I'm moving back to New York in March. So I don't know if you're in New York. I'm not saying you're there now. I'm not saying I know where you are. I have no idea where you physically yeah, you are. Yeah, you don't. But I, so yeah, I don't know where you are, but I do know that sometimes you are in New York. And when you are, we should hang out at length and do an okay. unlimited do an unlimited time frame uh, on this. But yeah. All right, so, I'll agree to that. Yeah, as far as Can you show that? Yeah. Okay, you want to wrap up your program. I have one request and then it's all you. And then I'll just serve whatever you want to say. If I mean, if you ask me, please show the photograph, the black and white photograph. I okay, I let me let me see if I can do that, um, because okay. I want to drag this in here. I don't know where the fuck I'm. I'm like trying to like, Is there like add a... this. Yeah, man. I I. It's like I don't know actually how to right. do this cinema layout. Do I do present? Do I do a slide? Do I? Okay, I got an idea. All right. We're going to do this raw. We're going to do okay, it raw. Before... You're just going to like hold it up to the... Uh... Right. 
Okay. okay. So, so before you wrap up, I'm just going to do one thing and then you will conclude your program as you please. Okay, bud. Okay, cool, okay. cool, cool. I'll be back in 10 seconds. I'm going to get a, the image. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I should really know how to do that to like p just put an image up as a third window. Um, you know, this is how you learn how to do stuff. I'm learning on the job. Um, yeah, man. I like, I've like try to resist. I try to resist the temptation to talk about this Kanye shit because it's just so like flavor, flavor du jour. But anti Semitism, I care. I'm not offended, but I care, you know. Um, so, Charlie. Yeah, let's let's check it out, man. Yeah, there you go. There you go. All right. Joseph Jagger. Right. I looked at Joseph Jagger on Wikipedia and yes. I was what was most fascinating is why me trying to imagine why you were fascinated with him. I am him. No shit. Like in, in what way? Reincarnated or, or, or? Yes. Okay. Like just past life, you were that guy. The life before the life before this one. Okay. Too, and so how do you know that? What's what's the sort of? Because that's me, man. That's my face. You do okay, look I, like him somewhat. Yes. It's, look. So, so. Uh, it, I may be Mick Jagger's great grandfather. Whether I am or not, I'm not sure, but I am certainly my past life related to Mick Jagger. And I know because he, in 1978, when I was eight, he was, uh, I was alone in a room with him in Manhattan. No shit. At my school, which is called Walden School. Oh, you went to Walden School? Yeah, yeah, man. I know that, yeah. There you go, bud. Yeah. So I went there for like, I want to say two or three gar yeah. grades. Yeah, I went to so Dalton, he... so I know about these schools. Oh, no <laughs> shit. Yeah, yeah. I know okay, bud. Yeah. All right. So yeah, that's me. Okay, I died in 1892. Okay. Okay? Good. And so, but but what's your, like, do, do you have like a, a a feeling of connection, like that, like sort of bolsters that like oh what's my the... god dude there's fucking things that they send um that they do for you uh this um, album okay he, he was given a big key or his family had a key and now i then you have a key there's these weird things that happen where it's just like props uh, the, 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 <clears throat> uh yeah so i'm not speculating now it's a lot of things I want to speculate about, but that's okay. not a speculation. You understand the difference? Yes. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That's me. Um, and um, okay, so possibly Mick Jagger. The CIA right. has yeah. the other ones. They don't tell you who you are. The, the, what's one of the most important things is that you don't know who you are because then you start gaining power. And now that I know that I'm J Joseph Jagger, that means I'm a time traveler. That's dangerous. You okay. understand me? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. But you want to keep a lid on that shit. But does the CIA know who you are or they just want to, they don't know either, but they they've wanna... always known who I am. Okay. You wouldn't believe. Okay. So, so it's what, I don't know what people think that they can. Okay. Your thoughts that can be transcribed. Um, your sexual fantasies can be recorded and they have been if necessary. And you know, there's a reason that NSA uh, installation has, you know what I mean? Whatever a billion terabytes. Okay. There's a reason that DreamWorks is called that because they can literally record your dreams. Yeah. I now, buy that. I buy that. Yeah. Yeah. No, this is not theoretical. I have theories and shit. We could, rap about when we if we uh, hang out again but the movie a scanner darkly that was mm. uh, uh what's his name link ladder i think so yeah okay okay that is they wouldn't clear the thing where they show the direct dream recording but they what they do is they simulate it and you have all these different faces shifting over 
Remember that? All the faces shifting uh, I, I don't, actually. I did see it, but I don't actually remember, like, anything about it. it Is that a sick it, movie? I mean, I, is that, like... It's a good movie. It's one of the best um, Philip K. Dick adaptations. And the other thing about Philip K. Dick is people think he's talking about metaphors and shit, and sometimes he is, but mostly his uh, combination of um, deep psychism, his reincarnation knowledge, and methamphetamine psychosis are something that I find close to home, Charlie. You find it what? Close to home. Close to home. Yeah, I know. We yeah. didn't talk too much about psychedelics and shit like that, but we can do that another yeah. time. That's, that's. I mean... It, it's kind of obvious. I, I, I know. Ruined. It's like, I know. Yeah. It's like, it's more like we, yeah. we, we got into... The stuff. psychism was cool because you did... Uh, it, it's very important. You have a conscience and you're aware of the plight of the unborn. Yes. It doesn't mean... Okay, that is impressive. And that, that, that you are your own thinking man. That's not normal, by the way. <laughs> I never okay. said I was normal. I'm just functioning. You know, that's all. <laughs> Close enough, bro. And number I mean, two I'm... was you did oneromancy and you knew that your dreams were prophetic. So these were two tips where I was like, all right, I'm going to do this with this fucking guy. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, dude, thank you so much for coming on here, Nondor. I mean, because I know you don't just Go throw. fuck yourself. I know. Yeah. Well, you know what, man? Well, you try, you're trying to you're trying to be tough at the last minute, but you've been a nice guy. I ain't for trying. Like, you, you, but you've been a nice guy for like two hours. So I got I got, pass. I got your I got your number, dude. Um, dude. It doesn't matter. You got a big nose, dude. Keep talking shit. I'll make yours look like mine, dude. You want to do influencer boxing, dude? That dude, would be. Dude, I got a fat ass, so let's call it even. <laughs> My ass is kind of big, yeah. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. All right, bro. All right, dude. You're the best. Hey, you're the, you're the best, dude. I'll see you uh, before long. I hope it would be cool. Is that it? Maybe he's uh, maybe he just checked out, or maybe he's just frozen. There he is. Peace, man. All right. All right. There you have it, guys. Nandor Navai. Um, yeah, you're not gonna get this shit anywhere else. I mean, you will get this if you check out his work. You know, we talked about so much about his, like, um, just what he knows about reality and stuff. But we actually, we didn't talk as much about his music as we could have. That's fine. That's totally fine. We got into the good shit. But um, I do recommend everyone check out uh, his work. He's on YouTube. Um, and, uh, yeah, if you search for Nondor Navai, like, a bunch of his stuff's up there. But you can, like, buy his CDs, order them. Um, yeah, physical media. What is it? Yeah, I mean, the new record uh, is like, yeah, Die Motherfucker uh, 2 with Trevor Dunn and Tim Dahl. Just plugging it, plugging it, and he's got all this other stuff up there. So, yeah. Um, onward, and uh, I'm not even going to say upward because we're as high we're as high as it gets with, uh, with Nondor and uh, with our last couple of guests. Dude, the, the next guest is like, not even about like fame or anything like that. It's not a famous person, but just someone who's just like, yeah, like really like you won't expect, you won't exactly expect what's, what's, what's coming up <laughs> as though you expected Nondor. Like, how could you? Um, all right, y'all. If anyone wants to join the discord, hit me up, um, on Instagram or at, uh, my email, which is charred lurker at gmail.com c-h-a-r-r-e-d-l-u-r-k-e-r at gmail that is where you can find me and uh, hit me up about joining the discord all right later on everyone